welcome to the second part of my video about War of the Rats, a second scenario for the Advanced Squad Leader Starter Kit 1. And uh, we are starting with the turn 3. So far Germans are doing very good, they captured first of the three building that they have to capture to win uh, this battle. And they are about to move their massive group here on the right, while <coughs> these two groups are going to fire on and to capture eventually this building. Soviets are still waiting to, uh, till their ad hoc shock group reinforcement will arrive. I wonder if it will happen this turn or maybe not. So let's start our game. We are starting with rally phase and if Germans are about to rally any of their units, hmm, these guys are all fine. Uh, these guys are uh, not quite fine. They have morale of 7, so they might try to self-rally, but it won't be easy. 7, no. They cannot be rallied. And because this is, uh, there is an enemy unit on the adjacent hex, they, ca they have to keep this desperation morale counter. And now Soviets. First, we have to rally this broken squad, because it is quite important to get it back. Oh, but not now. Stalin won't be happy. And now I can I can try to rally this commander. He has morale of eight, so I have to roll uh, uh, to roll four or less. Oh, almost, almost, but not. Uh, so that's all. That's all. Yes, that's all when it comes to the rally phase. And next we have German prep fire phase. Now, what I'm going to do is uh, to uh, fire with these two squads on these Soviet conscripts. I have firepower of 8, plus, two, plus 3 because of the building and minus 1 because of the commander, so I have 8 plus 2. It is 10. 10 in the column of 8. It is, it is a miss. Hmm. That's bad. Next, this group fires on this machine gun. I have 12 plus 3. Not an easy thing to do. 4, so it is covering, so we, I move to column of 8 with plus 3. So I have 7. This is 1 MC. Hmm, good, good. 7, and they have 7, so they are broken because it was one MC, so I have to add one to the roll. Who knows, maybe I will be able to finish this scenario earlier, if all the Soviets will be eliminated or uh, they will be in such a dire situation that any, uh, any, other further, any further combat will be uh, useless. Okay, that's all when it comes to the German prep fire phase, and now we have German movement phase. I'm going to start with them. Hmm. I think I made a mistake, but sorry, not a mistake, but tactical mistake. Uh, it would be wise to uh, change this uh, squad into two half squad, but I think it is uh, it is possible only in the ra uh, rally phase. I can do I, I cannot do it in the movement phase. So well, that's bad because I would like to move one squad here, one, one half squad here, and one, one half squad here, but it is not possible. So I will move them here, and no one can fire at me, no, and then here. So they can, get, they can fire at me. They are firing, firing with 8, plus 3 because of the stone building, and minus 1 because of the non-assault movement. So we have 8, plus 2, it is 6, plus 2, it is 8, so we have normal morale check. First German commander, he is fine, and now he can use his modifier for his squad. So we have 7, minus 2 is 5, so they are fine. So I have to place first fire and 4. And they cannot. They can, uh, and Germans are not moving anywhere. So they, they are. They, uh, but they can fire again because Germans spent two movement points to enter this hex. 
uh, so uh, we have uh, four yes but because they have two because of the fi final fire and uh, it is doubled because firing on the adjacent hex so we have four plus three oh. not a good roll okay that's all for them and now uh, other Germans they they already fired so they cannot be uh, used in the movement and now them I have to remove this uh, double time counter and move one two three I cannot use uh, 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 double time twice in the row it, uh, you can see that it would be quite good for them to spend uh, to ha get another movement point and move here because they would need two movement points to move here so it would be possible but since already th uh, they already used uh, uh, double time in the previous turn previous turn so they cannot use it again okay that's all for them and now they they are moving here they made uh, make assault movement so if they want to fire on them they would have plus two because of these two orchards and no uh, minus one because of the non-assault movement so they are not going to fire at them next this squad moves here one two three four <clears throat> they are not going to fire on them then this squad one two three now this squad with the with a leader i think i will le leave them here but so i will move commander only two three four five six uh, why i left them here because uh, Soviet reinforcement are coming somewhere from the south and if I would <coughs> leave this uh, building unprotected then Soviet, Soviet uh, reinforcements might arrive and take it back with ease and this is not a good thing so <coughs> that's all when it comes to the German movement phase and we are moving into, into the Soviet defensive fire phase uh, now th uh, th this comes an answer why I didn't didn't fire on them with these guys because I plan to fire on these Germans. I have eight because of the firing on the adjacent hex and plus three because of the stone building. Oh, very unlucky roll. It is nine plus three. It's twelve. It is a miss and I can still try to do the same with these guys so I have four plus three small very small chance oh I rolled co doubled so it's covering so we ha I have a column of two it is a nine so it is a miss and that's all when it comes to the uh, Soviet defensive fire And next we have a German advancing fire phase. Now, uh, where, uh, where our Germans are about to fire? I think here they are firing with 4 and the modifier mi minus 2 on them. So I have 4 plus 1. Eight plus 1 it's 9 in the column of 4 it is a miss. Now, any other German units are about to fire? Yes, they. They have a uh, firepower of 4, plus machine gun it is 6, uh, so it is 7, so they fire on them with 6, with plus 3, 8, 8 in the column of 6, it is pin test check. So it's nothing because they are already broken. And finally them. They can fire on them. I have five 
and it is sorry five it is halved so it is two and uh, two and half plus one because of the assault fire so they have uh, three and half so we have rounded up to the nearest uh, column so it is four so they are firing with four and um, uh, plus three minus one so four plus one sorry four plus two it is a miss And they can do the same on them. They have 4 plus 3. It is 8 in the column of 4. It is nothing. So that's all when it comes to the German advancing fire. No good at all. And next we have road phase. I am routing them here and I don't have any other, other German units that would, my, that would have to route but now Soviets this Soviet squad have to route and because the, you can see that their uh, Maxim machine gun has the portage points of 5 so they have to leave it here because it would slow them down so they are moving here and I think this is all when it comes to the road phase, yes. And now we have a German advance phase. I am uh, moving here, so we can place close. Oh no, sorry, I forgot about one thing. These guys are broken. These guys are broken, so I should place the inspiration morale counter here because they, there, are, and there is enemy unit on the adjacent hex and because of that they would have to road in the road phase so one two three four and now it is the German uh, advanced phase sorry for that mistake I am moving them here and here we go close combat where did I put close combat marker yes it's here they are moving here they are moving here they here they here they here they here and they here oh and this commander and that's all when it comes to the German uh, advanced phase and the next thing we have uh, germ we have close combat finally some close combat in this game uh, let's make it oh I should place one more desperation morale counter that I forgot about it here okay so what do we have here let's place this counter to remember about it we have one German squad with commander and one Soviet squad. So first we have to roll for ambush. Uh, we have uh, uh, for, uh, what do we have? Uh, Ger uh, Soviets have plus one because they are inexperienced unit, and Germans have minus one, minus two because they have a commander. So Germans, uh, Soviets have uh, plus one, so they have three. And Soviets and the Germans have minus two, so they have zero. So uh, so they managed to ambush uh, Soviets. And because of the ambush, they have additional minus one modifier, and they are attacking first. So they have four against four, so it is. Uh, one to one and they have my mi minus three modifier so they have six they failed they were so close but they failed and now Soviets are attacking German squad so they have one to one and they have plus one because they were they were ambushed they have 11 so they failed so we have to continue this close combat in the next phase but now we can move this counter into melee. Okay, that's all when it comes to the 
German actions in this phase, in this turn, and next we have Soviet actions. First I have to make a roll if Soviet reinforcements are about to arrive. Now I have to roll two or less. Oh, good! Good! We can introduce these mighty Soviet reinforcements. We have three five to seven squads, the light machine gun and the commander. I'm pretty sure it will be great help for our weak and beaten Russians. Maybe it will change the situation. We will see. Alright, so let's see if these uh, reinforcements will change the situation on the board. I'm going to remove them now and see where I am going to move them. I think I will move Commander with <coughs> Squad and Light Machine Gun here. That's where they are going to enter. While uh, these two other groups will move here. Okay, so starting with rally phase, uh, let's see what, who we can rally. I think I have a commander here. Yes, so let's try to self-rally him. Oh my, he is wounded. He is not only... Uh, let's check severity of his wound. Oh god, he is bad because he's died. He's killed, sorry. He dies by wound, so he's eliminated. This is very bad. And now here. Let's see if this commander will do better job. Seven, no, he doesn't. This squad remains broken. Uh, okay, and uh, any other uh, Soviets? I believe I can try one self-rally of these uh, uh, guys here. So let's do with this uh, uh, this uh, squad that has six. No, nothing. So they remain all broken and with desperation morale counter. And the Germans. And uh, Germans, I have a uh, broken squad here. And I don't have anyone to... No, these are Soviets, so all I can do is remove this desperation morale counter. They have to keep it because they are on, there is enemy on the adjacent hex. Okay, that's all when it comes to the rally phase, and next we have Soviet prep fire phase. And I think I will fire on them with this squad. So I have four without any modifiers, because Orchard works only as hindrance. It works when you fire through the, this hex, but not when you fire on this hex. So we have four. It is seven in the column of four. It is just pin test check. So let's see if Germans are pinned or not. They are not. So prep fire. Okay, and uh, next we have... Uh, any other units that might, might fire on the enemy? I don't think so. Oh, they. Yes, they can. But uh, the problem is that they have firepower range of 2. So they can fire here, but not here, not here, and not here. So uh, and on any hex they would fire, and they would have uh, firepower reduced to just 2. So, let's try to fire on them with a firepower of 2 and plus 3 because of the stone building. Like I, like I expected, nothing. Okay, so that's all when it comes to the Soviet prep fire phase. And next we have Soviet movement phase. So I'm starting with them. 1, 2, 3, and that's all. And they are moving one, two. That's what I'm going to do. And now this stack, that uh, this stack with squad and uh, machine gun and commander, they are moving one, two. And the question is if I want to move here. 
this would uh, put me in the danger of this squad firing on me. <clears throat> I'm not sure if I will survive this, but la let's try. This is a risk. They are firing on me, they have 10, so they have 8. I have plus 1 because of the woods and minus 1 because of the non-assault movement, so they are firing with 0, with 8 and 0 modifiers. 9, this is pin test check. So commander, he made it, and his men, 8 minus 2, because of the commander, it's 6, they made it. So Germans have firepower, sorry, first fire, and 4. And that's all, I'm not moving anymore with this stack, so I'm finishing my movement here, so... Let's remove this uh, residual fire. And next we have defensive fire phase. Uh, and if Germans are about to fire anywhere... Yes, I think they are. I think they are here first. They have 8, 18, and there is also 8, so it's 26. It's 26 plus 3. So I'm, I will be using a column of 24. And it is 8, so it is 11 in 24, it is 1 MC, hmm, good, 6 plus 1, it's 7, so they are fine, Who? good, I was almost certain that uh, they will be bro uh, broken and then reduced, but they are not, they made it, and now, now what else? I think I will fire them on them. I have 6 plus 3. Nothing. And then this stack. I have 8 plus 3 minus 1. So I have 8 plus 2. Oh, good roll! This is 6 in the column of 8, it is 1 MC. Hmm. Now, 8 plus 1 is 9, so Soviets are broken, good. Get lost, Soviets. <laughs> okay. Well, as a Pole I don't have much sympathy for both Germans and Soviets, actually. <laughs> so, uh, any other uh, German uh, or Soviet actions? Well, they don't have anyone in their range. In their range, they are fighting. So that's all when it comes to the German uh, defensive fire phase. Oh, I I had I had one more thing to do. Uh, they had f first fire here so they can fire on them again. They would have uh, 25 uh, halved and then uh, doubled, so they are fight firing on them with 4 and minus 1 and plus 1 because of the woods. Oh, nothing. <laughs> okay, that's all. This Now we have advancing fire phase. I will fire with them, so they have 5 and plus one, so they have six, plus two because of the machine gun, so they have eight, and minus two because of the commander, and plus two, plus three because of the stone building, so they have eight, and uh, plus one. Mm. Suddenly it is ten, so it's nothing. And I think this is all. Yes, that's all. They don't have any enemy units in their range. So that's all, I'm removing these uh, counters, and next we have road phase. Okay, and uh, this is Soviet, Soviet time, so Soviets are moving first, so they have to road, and they can road here. You may ask why, because this, uh, you, you may ask about this uh, German unit here, but it is broken, and uh, units that are broken are not uh, important when it comes to the uh, road limitations. And now them. 
they are moving here. This uh, German unit is broken, uh, so they can... Uh... Oh, sorry, I forgot this is Soviet uni unit, so they can move here without any problems at all. Okay, sorry for um, making this uh, kind of messy. Uh, so they wrote here with is, they wrote here with is, so they don't have to wrote. And uh, any German units? Well, they might, by the, but they don't have to. Okay, that's all when it comes to the road phase. And now we have advanced phase of uh, Soviets. So I'm moving here, here, and here. This can this can be an, uh, another dangerous and risky situation, but I think I have to do it if I want to, uh, don't, don't want to lose with Soviets. So, all right, let's make close combat. First, we have a, we have a, a battle here. We have one to one with minus two for Germans. So first, we have a roll for Germans. I have eight minus two is six, and uh, Germans need five or less. So they missed, and now the Soviets they missed as well. So the co combat goes on. And now here. First we have to make ambush roll. Like always I make a red die for Soviets. Oh! We have uh, Sov Soviets, man Soviets managed to ambush Germans, I believe. Yes. So uh, Germ they will have plus mi uh, minus one for the roll. So we have one to one because we have five against five and minus three for Soviets. Yeah, great shot. Germans are eliminated. Finally something good for Soviets because they were in the very dire situation at the beginning of this battle. Okay, so this concludes turn three and we can move into turn 4. So, let's carry on with turn 4. Uh, we are starting with uh, rally, uh, rally phase. Mm. As for Germans, I think they are fine. I think that none of them needs to be rallied. <coughs> I can't... Uh, or maybe them, them. Yes, them. I was right. So, self-rally and they are rallied. Okay, good. And now Soviets. Well, they are <laughs> in the worse situation. Uh, this commander here. Oh, now, oh, he, he died because of the wound. So he cannot be, be rallied. And I think I will self rally. Uh, no, I cannot self rally because this is not my turn. So I can remove these counters. And yes, here. Oh, bad. Too bad. Soviets have poor luck when it comes to rally. Now, and uh, then we have prep fire phase. And what about Germans? Um, I'm going to do, do, do it here. And this, see, this is a good place when spraying fire would be a good thing to, uh, to, to do if we would play full advanced squad leader. Because if I would have spraying fire, I would be able to fire on both of these units, halving my firepower on them and them. But now I, ca I, ha I can only choose one target, so I will fire on them. I have firepower of 8, so it is doubled, and I'm firing with fi firepower of 16, and plus 3 because of the building. <coughs> oh, I get a rate of fire. And 7 plus 3 is 10. In the column of 16, it is normal morale check. So let's make normal morale check for these Soviets. 7, they are pinned, by the, but they are fine. And I can fire again because of my rate of fire. So I'm firing on them with 3. And it is doubled, so I have 6 plus 3. 8 plus 3 is 11, so it is a miss. 
Okay, and uh, do I have any other advancing fire? Mm -hmm. Do I have or do I ha haven't? I think I haven't. Oh, uh, maybe them. Maybe they should fire on this. No, they don't have to. Uh, and they cannot fire on them because this building is on the hex side so it blocks line of sight I believe uh, I believe it does I'm not quite sure about this uh, but I think it it blocks so I cannot fire on them I can't use my amazing uh, flamethrower so this is all when it comes to the prep fire and next we have a movement phase I am starting with this unit and they are moving here they move normally <laughs> they don't make uh, any special movement so these uh, Soviets might fire on them they have firepower of 4 plus 3 because of the stone building and minus 1 because of non-assault movement so we have 2 oh god extremely lucky roll 3 plus 2 is 5 in the column of 4 it is 1 MC 7 plus 1 is 8 so Germans are broken. Wow. Simply wow. If they would fail, they would probably they would surely use their uh, this, uh, demolition charge to blow these uh, uh, Soviets into pieces. But now, see these con con these con conscripts are useful as well. Okay. So, <clears throat> uh, any other actions? Of course. I am moving this squad here and that's all I am moving this squad one two three they are moving here this commander is moving here oh no maybe I shouldn't sorry Mm -hmm. I think I will this, they were here no no they were here so I will move them one two three and they have uh, a medium machine gun that has uh, three portage points so they can move four they can move four so I move them here and because they made uh, their entire movement, movement down the road they can even move here but I don't wanna because they would enter this Soviet unit's uh, 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 fire range so let them st stop here I'm just moving them here to keep uh, this, po this uh, position safe mm, now here I will move them with this awesome La Flame Tower here. So I have one and a half. Right? Orchard, orchard. Movement. Where is movement table? Orchard. No, it is one. So it is one. I miss I made a mistake with grain. One, two. Sorry. Can uh, these Soviets fire on them? <clears throat> now I have to check if there is line of sight between these hexes. Yes, it is. I believe it is. So they are firing on them. They have two and two because they they have firepower. Uh, 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 they have fire range of two, so they have to have their firepower. So they have two and half and two, this gives us four and half. So we have four and minus two because of non-assault movement and the moving in the open ground and minus two. So we have four and minus four. Looks like I, I made a grave mistake with my Germans. Seven in the column, minus four, it is three. In the column of four, it is two MC. This will be hard. 8 plus 2 
it is uh, 10, so they are broken. Oh, and they have plus 1. Uh, they had plus 1 because uh, they they carried this... Uh, uh, sorry, uh, minus 1 because they carried this uh, flamethrower, so it was not 3 but 2. It was K2. So they are, they should be all, they should be also reduced into half squad. I need to seek for half proper half squad. Okay. Too bad. Too bad. Here. Here. And. Here and now this group they move one, two, three, four. Now they are firing on them. They have firepower of two and it is round it is doubled, so they have firepower of four plus two. Seven it is <coughs> pin test check. So commander eight he's fine first squad they are fine and the second squad they are fine so that's good oh, sorry not here but there okay and I think this is all when it comes to the German movement. I have this group here. <clears throat> they can still move, but I don't think they will move, make a movement. I will let them keep here just to uh, use them in case I will have any uh, other problems. So let them stay here. <clears throat> and that's all when it comes to the German movement phase. And next we have Soviet defensive fire phase. Uh, let's remove residual fire markers okay so now mm, I think I will start here they have five and they have two and half so they have seven so they will fire with oh sorry not they have ten because they are firing on the adjacent hex and they have two, two they, they, uh, they have uh, five it is halved because of the pin and doubled because of firing on the adjacent hex, so they have 5, so I have total firepower of 15 with plus 3. <clears throat> so I will use column of 12, 9 plus 3, it is 12, in the column of 12 it is nothing. Hmm. Germans were lucky, because it was quite a dangerous situation. Now they have final fire, they have first fire, so they can fire on the on, on the adjacent hexes only. So that's all when it comes to the Soviet defensive fire phase. Okay, so now we have uh, advanced phase, advancing fire phase. So Germans uh, can fire if they want to, and I think and I bet they want. So first here, they have firepower of eight, plus three and minus one. Uh, so it is 7, in the column of 8 it is 1MC. 7, so Soviets are broken. They were close to made it, make it, but they, made that, but they didn't, <coughs> so they are broken. And any more of Germans? Yes. Uh, they are firing on them with the firepower of 4. 6 plus 3 is 9, it is a miss. They are firing on them with firepower of 6. I have 4 plus 3, it is 7. 7 in the column of 6, it is normal morale check. 8, it is not a fail, so they are uh, <coughs> turned into half squad 
need to find yes it is here okay oh so many broken units <laughs> in this factory okay and they I think they can fire on them I have to be sure yes they have a uh, line of sight so they have uh, five uh, sorry they have uh, two and a half class one because of the uh, assault fire so they have three and a half this makes them five uh, sorry four they have four class three and minus one so they have four plus two Wow! Wow! 3 plus uh, 2 is 5. In the column of 4, it is 1 MC. Oh god! This, this, can, this might hurt. 8. So they are broken. So this half squat is uh, reduced. Uh, sorry, this squat is reduced into half squat. and now them seven they are broken and they are already half squat so they are eliminated that was great shot And I think this is uh, that's all when it comes to the German prep, German advancing fire. So I can remove these markers. All right, and uh, we are moving into road phase now. This is this is going to be messy. First Germans, because this is their turn, so they have to road first. They are moving here. And Soviets, uh, they are retreating on this hex. They are staying here, and they are staying. They are moving onto this hex as well. And them, they are moving here and there on this building. So this commander will help them rally. And I think that that's all when it comes to the road phase. And next we have German advance phase. Here. 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 Alright, that's all when it comes to the German advance phase. And, and finally, close combat phase. I have 1 to 1 with minus 2 for Germans. So the number we are seeking is a 5 for Soviets. 6. Hmm. One less, and they would w manage to make it. And now Germans six but they have minus uh, two because of the commander so they have four so they win this soviet squad is away so hmm, germans are doing quite fine who knows maybe they will win uh, quite easy oh i should for i should re remove this pin count marker <coughs> okay so this uh, this is all for germans when it comes to turn four now this is time for Soviets. Okay, Soviet rally phase. Of course here. So first this uh, squad. Six, they are fine. And now this, this, this squad with desperation morale. Five plus uh, four. So they are not fine, they remain broken and because of the enemy they have to keep the counter. Uh, oh, uh, sorry, 
they should have a desperation morale counter as well because there was enemy on the adjacent hex so uh, they uh, should be uh, they should be broken they, they should still be broken they can't rally themselves oh my That's, sorry commander cannot rally them because it wasn't enough to uh, rally these guys okay and any other soviet units that might rally now they are all uh, broken and no commander around so that's all as for germans well they don't have commander so they cannot be rallied and but they can sorry i should leave this machine gun here and try to rally these troops six six plus four it is ten minus one because of the building is nine and they have seven so they remain broken too bad because i really like this uh, flamethrower okay so that's all when it comes to the uh, rally phase and next we have soviet uh, prep fire phase now uh, soviets are about to fire somewhere of course here they have they have 10 so the, it is doubled so they have 20 20 plus 3 because of the stone building oh good roll 5 plus 3 it is 8 8 in the column of 20 is 2 mc it is 6 plus 2 it is 8 and they are 8 so they are pinned still they are not uh, damaged but this is not good okay they are prep fired and now they hmm, they have this very limited uh, firepower so i will uh, stay uh, up, i will keep them uh, to move and next i'm moving into soviet uh, movement phase and i think i will make a movement here with the assault movement this is an assault movement, so uh, the Germans might fire at me if they want, and of course they want, <laughs> they want. So here I have 8, 8 plus 3 and minus 1, so I have 8 plus 2, it is 6. I have also a rate of fire for this light machine gun, so I have 8 in the column of 8, this is uh, this is normal morale check first soviet commander oh god oh my he failed and now he's guys seven six they are fine but because of the commander uh, the commander is getting is broken they have to make additional pin test check with his uh, with his modifier as negative modifier so they have pin test check plus two and they are pinned oh so the the last great plan to uh, drive soviets off uh, sorry dr drive germans off this factory is fail failed okay and uh, next that, no, no, that's all. German, uh, Soviet doesn't have to move anywhere else. Uh, but still, I am able to fire on them with these guys. Hmm. I want. Do I want to? Yes, I think I want. So I have four and four. So I have eight. Eight uh, plus two. It is six. So it is eight. 8 in the column of 8, it is normal morale check. So commander, 10, so he, he, he failed, so he is wounded. And he, we have to check severity of his wound. He is wounded, so let's place a wound counter on him and his men. They are just pinned so far, 8, so I think they are broken. Yes, they are broken. Oh my. Oh my. 
this is bad so almost all the Soviet units are broken first fire on them oh I should place the first fire counter here as well and uh, I, I forgot about rate of fire but it was just three so it wouldn't be much and uh, when you forget about such rate of fire then ignore it uh, like I said uh, it is better to ignore your mistakes than to try to return uh, to fix something it's not a good idea actually okay any other defensive fire yes here these guys and these guys so they have seven and it is doubled so they have 14 and they have four, 8 so 40, 14 and 8 gives us 22 22 plus 3 oh my another epic roll another rate of fire and we have uh, 6 in the column of 20 which is 3 MC I don't think they will survive this. Eight. So they are halved and because they are already halved they are eliminated. And they they have six, seven, so they are halved, and they are half they are half they are already halved, so they are eliminated. So we have no Soviet units in this factory. So we can place German control, mar control marker on it, on it. Okay. So I'm going to mark them with, sorry, uh, fi def defensive fire. And any other defensive fire? Yes, here. Uh, they have five and plus three they have six they have eight as, uh, against them or maybe them so eight plus three it is nine so it is pin test check they they passed and I have a rate of fire so I am I have three plus uh, it is dumb it is doubled, so I have 6, uh, again 6 plus 3, it is 9, so it is miss. That's bad, that's really bad. Alright, and uh, any other? No, that's all. Oh no, maybe, I, I'm still allowed to fire here with the final fire, so my firepower is halved, so I have 4 and 4, <coughs> it is 8, 8 plus 2, it is 9, so it is pin test check, so it's nothing. So that's all when it comes to the German defensive fire phase. And now we have Soviet advancing fire phase, and we have only two Soviet units that are uh, able to fire and they are both prep-fired so they cannot okay that's all and next we have road phase mm -hmm. they have to road here they, ca they don't have to road they might remain here and that's all and next we have Soviet advanced phase so they are advancing here okay and close combat counter okay so that's all when it comes to the advanced phase and next we have close combat first we have roll for ambush and uh, Soviet, uh, Germans are pinned so they have plus one six so the so Soviets successfully managed to ambush uh, Germans so now uh, Soviets are, have uh, fire uh, Soviets have 10 and the Germans have the strength halved 
because they are pinned. So they have uh, two, and, two, and, uh, two, two and half against ten, so it is four to one. And, uh, and uh, Germans have, uh, and sorry, Soviets have m minus one, and the Germans has, have plus two one because of the ambush. So, German, uh, Soviets have to roll nine or less, ten, but they because of minus one of the ambush, then they managed to reduce Germans. Now, where do I have such a counter? This is always a problem when you look for the counter you, that you need and you cannot find it. Yes, I found it. And now Germans, they need to roll three or less and they have plus one. <laughs> They didn't made it, so we have to move this counter on the melee side, and that's all when it comes to the turn four. We are we can start turn five. All right, turn five is on its way, and we are starting with rally phase, and uh, this is German uh, part. So, do Germans have to make any? Rally actions, I'm not sure. Oh yeah, here. Here we have a broken squad with this awesome flamethrower and I would like to get it back. Six, it is lower than seven, so it is. they are fine. Oh, this is half squad only, but still. Okay, and uh, that's all for them. And now Soviets. This commander might try to rally these two broken squads. It will be a hard job, but let's see. 11 fail and 8 fail. So we can remove this desperation morale, but these units remain broken. And here we have a wounded commander, so his uh, buff stats are reduced by 1. So he has uh, 8 instead of 9, so let's try 6, it is 6 uh, plus 4, it is 10, uh, we have minus 1 because of the building, so it is 9, so it would be great if he, would, if, if he wouldn't be wounded, but since he was wounded, he remains broken. Okay, that's all uh, when it comes to the Soviets, and next we have prep fire phase. Now, I don't think that Germans even have to make any prep fire. There is one place where they could do. This, it is here. I can spray this uh, close combat stack with this machine gun. I would fire. Uh, it, it would af this fire would affect both sides, uh, Germans and Soviets. This can be a risky thing, but you can see that uh, Soviets have two uh, have here two squads, and Germans have one half squad. So situation is dire for Germans, and if they want to win this game, <coughs> they have to <coughs> uh, regain control of this building. Otherwise, they will lose. So I think it makes some crazy sense to fire with this machine gun on this stack. And maybe these uh, Soviet, Soviet squads will suffer more. Okay, let's try. So I have uh, 5 plus 4, so I have 9. This gives me 8 plus 3 because of the stone building. 8, this is covering, so it is uh, column of 6 plus 3, it is failure. So it didn't work how I planned. Okay, uh, so that's all when it comes to the prep fire phase, and now we have movement phase. <clears throat> okay, so I'm I have to move some units here, because otherwise it will be bad. I think I will move one, two, three, four. So no, I'm moving them with a uh, com with commander. So one, two, three, four. 
Okay. Now I'm moving them. One, two, three, four. And uh, this should do the trick, I hope. It will. And next, here. I will move these guys. Oh, sorry, they are broken. Oh, I forgot to rally them. Oh, my. Okay, I forgot my, my problem. I'm moving here and here, and I would try to pick up this uh, uh, ma light machine gun. I think I should... I, I forget uh, how to do it, because it's something that rarely happens. Yes, uh, I have to make a roll. It is the same like in the rally phase. I have to make a roll. If I roll six or uh, less than six, this is success. Four. This is this is success. So I get this Soviet light machine gun. Okay, and now here I'm moving one, two, and. And now I'm moving this squad here and they are they are placing their uh, demolition charges here while they go here. Or maybe it would make more sense to, for, to me to move them like that. One, two, three, four. So they would be able to block these Soviets. Even if they would survive uh, German fire, they wouldn't be able to escape from this place and then they would be eliminated. Okay, that's all when it comes to the German movement phase. And now we are moving into Soviet defensive fire phase. But Soviets uh, doesn't have to fire, uh, sorry, they cannot fire because all uh, their, their only uh, units uh, that are allowed to fire are now bound into uh, close combat, so they can't. So next we have advancing fire phase. First, this demolition charge goes kaboom here, so we have 30 plus 3. It is 9 plus 3, it is 12. In the column of 30 it is 1 MC. So first, commander, 7 plus 1, it is 8, so he is broken. Now, this unit with morale of 7, oh, they are fine. <laughs> and now, the other unit with morale of 5, they are broken, and since they are broken, they, are re they suffer reduction, so let's turn them into half squad. Okay, and now I can fire on them with this uh, this unit. I have firepower of four, and my plus three minus two, so I have four plus one. Eight. This is a miss. Mm. Next, uh, next I'm going to fire here. I have six and seven, so it is. Totally, uh, totally 13, so it is 12, 12 uh, plus 3. Oh, good. It is uh, 3, as, as also, you notice that I uh, uh, get a rate of fire. But I have two weapons. What to do? I have to make a roll to see what, uh, which of these weapons get a rate of fire. If I will roll 1 or 3, it will be German, it will be, if I would roll 4 to 6, it will be Soviet. So it is German. So I will be able to fire again with this German light machine gun. But now I have 3 plus 3, it is 6. In the column of 12, it is 2 MC. So let's make a roll. 6 plus 2 is 8. 
So Soviet commander is fine, he has 8. And now his men. No, they are not fine. They have 11. So they are broken. And they suffer a, 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 a quality reduction. Because they get 11 and the Soviet ELR is 3. So they are turned into 4 to 6. Uh, it's, all, it's important to remember that when you uh, perform uh, such a reduction, you have to remember that none, uh, none of these factors can be higher than any of these factors. So when, you, we, when we have 5 to 7, we can only use 4 to 6 because this is the only uh, uh, multi-man counter of the, of the full squad of the Soviet army that has a range of 2. So this goes out and they are broken. And now I have one more interesting situation here uh, because I have fire uh, flamethrower here. I can pour f liquid fire on these fighting guys. Oh, sorry, uh, one more thing. I forgot about this rate of fire, so I can fire on them with three, but I don't think I will do, do so. It, it is actually pointless, so let's move here. I'm going to spray fire on them, so I have firepower, firepower of 12. And now uh, I have to make a roll. Oh, I forgot about one thing. Uh, I, 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 I'm not sure if I mentioned this before, but flamethrower is not affected by the advancing fire phase uh, modification. So it still has 24 when firing on the adjacent hex. So I'm firing with 24 on this hex without uh, TM penalties. 7 in the 24 is 3 MC. Oh god. 3 MC. Now Soviets. First squad. 7 plus 3 it is uh, 10. So they are broken. And now the other Soviet squad. Seven, 6 plus 3 they are broken. And now German. 6 plus 3 is 9, so they are broken as well. <laughs> well, they are all broken, but at last uh, Soviet units, bo both Soviet squads are broken, so it's not bad. It's quite an interesting situ situation because now we have all uh, uh, fighting units uh, invo involved in this combat broken. Uh, uh, the question is if I want to fire on them again with this group. Well, I don't think so. And now uh, we have advanced phase, advancing fire phase, so next we have a road phase. Okay, they have to road, so they are moving here. And now they suffer inter, uh, interdiction because of these guys. So they have to make a roll. First the commander and then squads. First commander. He is wounded. Let's see how hard he dies. Now this squad. They suffer quantity reduction. So they are eliminated. And this squad they are fine so they move here and now this soviet squad it's a group they cannot retreat anymore because all the all the hexes are adjacent to the enemy units so because of that they are eliminated and i think that's all when it comes to road phase and uh, I just checked to make sure if there are, uh, if there are no uh, unbroken units on such a hex, we have to remove melee hex, melee uh, counter. So we have to make a, 
wrote here as well. So I will wrote these guys here and there, and these Soviets have to wrote here. Okay. Now I can remove. Pre I should remove these prep file markers, and now we have advanced phase. Okay. Uh, so my my Germans are moving here, here, and here. They are moving here, and here, and this is the end of turn five. And I believe this is the end of the game because well. Uh, you can you you can tell that Soviets have no chance to regain uh, any of the uh, buildings. Uh, they are, they uh, they have only two broken units on the board, so um, well, the game is actually over for them. And I think uh, that's uh, it, it is pointless to play anymore because it wouldn't change anything, uh, save to the more ca casualties uh, for Soviets and nothing nothing more. So, uh, that's the end of the game. Uh, you can see this was pretty bloody and uh, hard for Soviets. Uh, it happens. Uh, in, uh, from Judging on my own experience, this scenario is very hard for Soviets. And I don't remember I managed to win with Soviets quite often. It happened. It happened, but it happened so rarely that I remember the situations when Soviets were able to win. But usually Germans are moving like an avalanche, uh, crushing everything on their uh, way. So that's how it goes. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. And I think that's the second and the last uh, video about Advanced Squad Leader Starter Kit 1. Because we have more scenarios in the ISL SK1, but uh, more um, they don't have any new rules, any new stuff. Uh, in my next video I'm going to move into Advanced Squad Leader Starter Kit Part 2 because we have uh, much more new and cool stuff like big guns, small guns, mortars and, and, every, and everything like this. And then if I will be lucky and able to cover all of this, we will be able to move into Part 3 with tanks. But uh, for now that's all. Thank you for watching and see you again.